Hi, welcome back to Pixel Pia, the human eye on AI. This week, we are working in multi-language models like ChatGPT or Gemini to develop our script ideas for videos. But this can be used for any type of creative writing, like blog posts or developing shorts or reels so without any further ado let's move over to the computer and see what i am doing to develop my script so here we are in chat gpt and i'm using the free version 3.5 the first step we are going to do is to create an outline for my script last week i did a video about how to come up with ideas and now I have an idea so let's ask ChatGPT help me outline a video called five AI tools I use in Descript use a narrative style and make it five to seven minutes Narrative here is one of the words, words I took from the list I talked about in my live stream on Monday. That list will be added to the description of this video if you are curious. So let's see what we get. So we start with an introduction and a couple of tips about it. Then we go to the five different tools. We have an interactive segment. We have a conclusion, a teaser for my next episode, and a call to action. Let's say that I'm okay with this outline. I can always go in and ask ChatGPT to change some things or write a totally new outline if I didn't like this. But for this tutorial, Let's say that this is the outline that I prefer. So now let's move on to the next step, with, which is scripting. When it comes to scripting, I use a combination of bullet points and detailed script. Detailed script is when I am talking about something that must be factual. In this case, I will use the outline and just script parts of it. So for example, the first tool here was voice clone, cloning. And I want that to be factual and correct. So my next prompt here is, can you write a detailed script for tool one, voice cloning? in a casual tone of voice. And here we have that part of, it wrote a little introduction again, which I can just ignore. And then we have, so what is voice cloning all about? Well, imagine this, you have recorded a fantastic script and so forth. And then it has a little demonstration. Let me show you and a little bit about the benefits and the conclusion. So that might be part of my, I keep the outline and I replace parts of it with a detailed script. In this case, I used the word casual tone of voice because I wanted it to be very friendly and direct as I'm talking to you. This I can do with one piece or many pieces of the outline, depending on how I want to do this recording. And with that, we are ready for the third thing I use my multilanguage model for, for when it comes to scripting videos. So the third step I do is to ask for things like uh, suggest transitions or come up with how do I go from this to that in an unusual or 
interesting way. So in this case, I'm going to ask ChatGPT, can you come up with a creative way to transition from the introduction to the tools? And let's see what we get back. Transition to tools. Speaking of magic, let me pull back the curtains and show you the five incredible AI tools tucked away in descriptions toolbox. We're not just talking about any ordinary editing tricks here. We're talking about the kind of AI wizardry that transform your content from good to mind blowing. Okay, that is the scripted. How would I do this visually? So now we get a lot of suggestion here, visual effects. As you mentioned, magic and AI wizardry. You can overlay sparkles, twinkling stars and so forth. So now I have suggestion both for the verbal and the visual transition. And for each step I talk about today, you can ask more questions. I usually go over and over and over with other ideas before I am happy. Today, we just I just show you the steps I take. I never do it this quickly. And talking about steps, I have one final step I usually do. And let's take a look at that right now. Every video I make have a specific purpose. It can be to get subscribers. Another video can be to get comments or some videos might be to have people go to my website or look at the community post and to not do the same thing every time I do this fourth step. And this is, can you no now write a witty call to action to end my video? And the important part that after that is today's purpose is to get more comments. And let's see what ChatGPT come up. All right, wizards and tech enthusiasts, it's time to cast your spell in the comments below. Share your thoughts, questions, or even your favorite magical AI moments. Did voice cloning blow your mind? Or are you itching to try out another AI trick? Let's turn this comment section to a cauldron of creativity. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things AI and wizardry. Until next time, keep conjuring those innovative ideas. And remember, the magic happens when we create together. I think in this case, I would skip the whole subscribe and notification suggestion and just keep the first part of this suggestion. But once again, you can keep on reformulating this. So those were the four steps I use in developing my outline and my screen. One, develop the outline. Two, detailed scripts for all or parts of my script. Three, ideas for transitions or maybe even for text comments to put on the screen. And four, an interesting way to ask for what I want with my video, whether it's increasing subscribers, get more comments, or have people go to my website or whatever it is, the purpose of that specific video. So now we have talked last week about idea generation, this week about developing a script. Next week, we're going to talk about AI functions in the editing process. And I have two thoughts here. I haven't really decided. My thought is 
on Monday I will do a live stream where we just talk about in general what AI has to offer when it comes to improvement of our editing, regardless of software. But then I'm thinking on Thursday and I want to ask you, would you prefer to see a tutorial specific for one tool that I use for editing. And let me tell you right now, it's mainly two tools I use. One is Filmora and the second one is Descript. Or do you want me to do an overview of different tools and what AI they provide? I will set up a poll on my community tab so when that is done i will have a link down in the description or if you go to my channel and click on the community tab you will see that survey so let me know what's more interesting to you one specific tool and a deep dive or more general different tools and what they have to offer in a I for video editing. That's all for this video. And as always, stay curious, stay informed, and be a part of the change. Bye.